Are you wondering what kind of backyard birds to look for? Every backyard is different and the birds that live in them are too. There might be hummingbirds, sparrows, or even a hawk hiding in your trees. And whether you have an acre of land or only a few feet, there is likely to be some type of bird living nearby. And in this video, we'll cover nine common backyard birds to look for. Hey there, I'm Christina with Backyardscape, where we share tips and ideas to make your backyard your favorite hangout spot. So make sure you subscribe so you get all the latest videos. Number one is the house sparrow. House sparrows are very common in most backyards, especially in areas with greater concentrations of people. They hop instead of walk and they're very social. If you have a feeder in your backyard, then they will likely be the most frequent visitors. And they also love baths. So if you're looking to attract them, you can add a bird bath to your backyard. House sparrows usually have wings and backs that are marked with brown and black. Number two is the Northern Cardinal. This backyard guest is easy to identify with its crests and red markings. Now the females are usually brown with red accents, while the males are usually red with black. The Northern Cardinal is a popular favorite to observe and it represents seven states in the United States. Now these birds make distinctive chirps and whistles and they're usually first birds that you'll hear in the morning. They are highly territorial during breeding seasons and they've been known to attack even their own reflection on site. Number three is the morning dove. One of the most common birds to observe anywhere on the continent is the morning dove and you'll hear beautiful soundtracks on any occasion. They have a rhythmic sound to their melodies that make them easily identifiable even before you go see them. Now they're usually accompanied by dark spots on their plumage and dark markings on their wings. You also may notice iridescent parts on their necks and they have straight flight patterns that's quick and they love to perch in groups on telephone wires. Number four is the American Robin. This bird can be easily identified with its red and orange breast coloring and dark gray wings. You usually find them at the end of winter and they can easily be recognizable with their tune of their song. The American Robin is a frequent guest in the backyard everywhere and you might even notice it hopping around or running to find food. The American Robin loves water features and water baths. So if you're looking to attract some, also make sure you add a bath to your backyard. Now, despite becoming more active in the spring, the American Robin is present year round, but in a more sheltered way during the winter time. You may still spot one in the colder weather and you should keep an eye out for it. Number five is the European Starling. The European Starling is also known as a common starling and it was introduced into the United States in the late 19th century. Since then, it's become a real common bird in most of the backyards across the United States. Now you'll be able to identify the starling by its short tail, glossy black plumage and long pointed yellow beak. Its colors are speckled with white spots during the colder seasons and the black has purple or green nuances during the summertime. Starling usually travel in huge flocks and are considered pests due to their large number and boisterous behavior. Now starlings have hidden skills. They can imitate the sound of other birds groups by studying them and then mimicking them. They're also known to imitate more than 20 other bird sounds that aren't specific to their family. Number six is the American Crow, and it can be found in large numbers across the North America and with frequent stops in backyards, you can find it on its path. The American Crow isn't fond of bird feeders. They prefer finding their food in groups located in open spaces where it'd be unhindered by other species. Now, American Crows are easily identified by the cawing noise that you hear and all black coloring. Their wings might have purple or blue or green nuances, and they can frequently be found congregating in large numbers. If you're not sure how to identify an American crow compared to other corvids, keep an eye out in this size. The crow will be smaller than a raven. Number seven is a blue jay. The blue jay is another bird that is easily to identify once you've seen it with its crest and blue plumage highlights the white and black markings. And these birds are also part of the corvid family, just like the crows. It's also known for its intelligence and group social structures. The blue jay makes a loud call and travels in large flocks. Number eight is the American goldfinch. This American goldfinch is another famous state bird and can easily be recognized from its call and coloring. Now in the spring, the males are bright yellow with some black markings on the crest, wings, and tail. Their plumage is more sedate in the winter, but they are still identifiable, especially considering the particularities of their tail and bill shapes. American goldfinches are attracted to backyards with bird feeders and native thistle plants. Number nine is the downy woodpecker. The downy woodpecker is a black and white bird and it's small in size and can frequently be found in many backyards. They have a high pitched call 
that's easily recognizable. And they are social birds that usually make their homes with flocks of mixed fur species. They're commonly mistaken for larger woodpecker types, but as long as you keep an eye on their size, you'll be able to tell them apart in no time. And when you have a backyard, bird watching just becomes a big part of the experience for enjoying your space. You'll have plenty of winged visitors. With some learning, you'll be able to start identifying them with ease. And if you're looking to attract more birds in your backyard, then make sure you watch this video next on how I walk you through how to attract hawks to your backyard. And I'll see you over there.